hey guys I'm at work and I'm on my lunch and I decided to come sit in my car and do this video I know maybe a lot of you might not want to watch this I may be cared to watch it but at least if I get one person to watch it it's okay because what I'm going to say I need you guys to listen carefully I was off from my work for a while and what I'm trying to say before I get into anything is people must worship God and who don't believe there's a God I don't know how you could live and think there's not a God I don't believe in him but there's a God I know that because what I've been through I know there's a God and I know he gave me a second chance and I always wonder why I got this chance I'm so grateful and thankful to be alive because I see some things and it made me marveled. For instance, I come back to my work and I see, I know I've been working with elders and I know, but now I'm back, I see things differently. And I think people should be grateful for life itself, for the smallest things. And I keep saying it and I won't stop saying it. And everything I say, I have a conversation. I'm gonna be putting that in. Be grateful because um, I see a lot of killing and shoot, um, all these things going on and I wondering why like people are so restless you know nowadays it's like they have nothing to live for but I said life is precious and you don't have to have anything to be enjoying life I think people should stop grudging people for what they have and not knowing how they got it or how they reach where they are i think that is the problem and people are killing people for money and if they see they're driving a nice car or they have a beautiful home and they don't know how these people got it but i'm telling you to have these things you have to work hard and I don't think people should sit and tell themselves like you're watching your neighbor coming out of his or her house in the morning driving a nice car, whatever car it is, expensive. And you're looking through your window and planning how to rob that person. I think the time you take to sit and plan out a robbery or how to kill someone because that must take a lot of time and energy i don't think you just get up and say oh i'm gonna kill someone and just get up and shoot or or, or chop or whatever you do i think you have to sit down and plan it so while you're sitting down and planning how to get somebody money because you think that person is is rich or that person have it and you don't know how that person comes by it the, the point is if you find that time sit down for 10 20 minutes or whatever time to plan out your scheme don't you think that would be a good time for you to sit down at that point and plan how to go get a job or how to work or how to 
get some money so you could live like your neighbor next door or have whatever your neighbor have next door which you know it, i'm not saying it's right to be jealous of people to what they have but still you could hope and everybody have dreams but not to sit and try to kill someone or hurt someone for what they have people life is too precious and the time you take i think people should go work and the, the point is that there's some things that some people would never do some people go like i wouldn't go sweep somebody's yard i wouldn't go plant somebody i wouldn't go do gardening you know but i always said this whatever you do you do it and you do it proudly and then you come home you take a shower, you get dressed. No one would know what you're doing. But at the same time, whatever you're doing, just proudly do it. Because it's going to be your honest bread. But people, I think you guys should stop. Be grateful. And as I was saying, I'm back at work. And I see these residents of mine. <clears throat> Sorry. And I think it's a reality check because I saw a lady she's young in her early 50s in her early 50s and it's so sad and she's in a wheelchair I never met her because I was away for a while and I asked her her name and I asked her you know she always looks sad but she's a beautiful lady and I asked her, what's wrong? How did she get here? Because I'm always like that. I love to question. I like to know stuff. And she said, oh, I'm, I was so good. I was walking one evening and a car reversed and hit me. And the person just drove away. Like it's a hit and run and leave me there to die. Somebody found me and called the ambulance. And I'm here in the wheelchair. And she's crying every day. And honestly, no one is perfect. And maybe it bothers, like before, it would, it would bother me. As a nurse, sometimes I would say, like, you do so much and maybe she don't appreciate it and stuff. But from where I'm coming from, I, I look at it and said... I understand her because what I've been through I wouldn't want um, at my age for someone to be showering me and taking care of me for the rest of my life so therefore that is what happening to her and she's young and I and I can relate to that like she's complaining and crying and I know exactly how she feels. And when I see her, I am so grateful. And I worship God even more. And I thank him even more. Because what I've been through. Because when I was sick, I couldn't walk for a minute. Or I, I, I couldn't use my arms for a minute. And I look at this lady and she said, I can't use my legs. And I'm looking and go like, that could be me in that wheelchair crying you know what i mean and i said god give me a second chance so i have to be grateful so what i'm trying to say people just be grateful and hope in your hearts and stop being all so wicked to each other so jealous stop being jealous of your friends or your family are people that you see outside for what they have and you don't know they get it. Please, and stop sitting down and scheming if you find out that some somebody have little money put away or something. You're trying to scheme and figure out how, how to get that person money. I, I set up outside waiting for that person to kill that person for that money. Come on, people. That person get up really hard and work for whatever that person have. So if that person can do it, you can do it. I always tell myself. Sometimes people say I'm so relaxed and stuff. 
I always tell myself, whatever you have, I could have it. You could drive a car, I could drive one too. It might be a different brand, but it's a car. You could have a house, I could have one too. You might have a 10 bedrooms, and I might only want two. Because at the end of the day, you only could sleep in one. So therefore, I always tell myself, whatever you have, I could have it. So it doesn't make sense of being jealous of someone that have something. But I'm telling you guys, just start bring God into your life. He's there and he's real. He's a real person. He's a real God and he answers prayers. And he, because trust me, he answers mine. Some people might say, okay, I pray and it doesn't happen. If you look beneath and look deeply, it does happen. Sometimes you might go to your bed and you might might say you're broke or you don't have this. And if you pray in the morning, you, you're with surprise. Somebody would just come and give you a dollar or something. And you, you but that person would even think that it's my prayer that answer. No, they feel like John just pause and give me this, this dollar. But no, it's God that provided because he hear your cry. So he hear you in different ways. But you have to figure out when he hears you. He hears you. So therefore, people, just praise him and be thankful. And I'm begging you people, stop the crime. Stop the killing. Stop the fighting. Try to love. Open your hearts. Sometimes just avoid things. Just make simple things pass. You know? If it doesn't, if, if it doesn't hurt you, why bother? Sometimes... People, some people don't know better. So why should you condole someone who doesn't know better? This guy just learned to live and be happy. I'm begging you, please. Because I see it and I appreciate, I appreciate life more. And I'm going to enjoy it until he's ready for me the, the second time. Right? He give me a, a, a chance. So I'm going to enjoy it until he's really ready for me. Because life is precious. You don't have to have diamond and pearl. You don't have to have uptown or downtown. You don't have to have the world. Just the best part of it is you're healthy. You're not in a wheelchair. You're not lying in a bed, bedridden, having bed sores. All these things paralyzed. And palliative care, somebody has to be feeding, feeding, bathing you, turning you every two hours. You have to be grateful that's, that, that's, that is not happening to you. So I'm begging you guys, just stop. Stop for a minute and start looking to life. And start enjoying what you have. If it's a banana... Or it's a peer, just eat it and thank him for it. I'm begging you guys. Please subscribe and share this video. I would like you to share this video. At least someone could hear me and I could help somebody. Thank you.